Hello, Mr. Clements here, Deputy Head Teacher. Just talking to you about key stage five options um, on behalf of Miss Price, who has delivered and produced a wonderful, a truly magnificent options presentation. So if you're in key stage three, you might not have seen too much of me in the last few years because I tend not to teach many key stage three students. But as you come into key stage four, you'll see me do lots of assemblies and give lots of advice uh, as the the go-to person amongst many go-to people uh, who knows all about Key Stage 4, Key Stage 5 and the best choices for you. So thankfully there has been a lot of disruption okay, to the educational landscape over the last um, eight years as a result of reforms and COVID but now we're in a relatively becalmed environment I hope where everything is settled down and there's a clear set of choices that you can make. Now, we hope those choices um, are inclusive and also uh, relatively expansive. OK, we try to make sure we offer uh, a wide range of sub, sub subjects but, and skills and holistic opportunities that mean when you leave us, you could go to our own sixth form, other schools, other colleges, apprenticeships, employment, and you have high qualifications that will facilitate access to those. In terms of examinations that you will take at 18, uh, which I know that seems a long time away, but that it does go very fast. You've got A-level examinations. These tend to be linear. So that means you take a course for two years and you tend to take an exam right at the end of it. Coursework, if there is any coursework, is 20% of the grade. BTEC qualifications, these are modular, so you may take an exam, the same exam, up to three times, so you can get a better grade each time, and you often have a higher coursework element, 40 to 50%. They tend to be more practical, uh, or a mixture of practical and academic. Remember, a distinction star, which is the highest grade you can get at a BTEC, is worth the same as an A star. That means the same university points at A level. In terms of grade core, if you want to do level three BTEC qualifications and A levels with us, you will need to make sure you have five or more grades at four or above at GCSE. Most of the students in the school get those grades. However, we don't want to be prescriptive about the courses you should do or the, the schools and colleges and pathway for you. There are lots of schools, colleges, courses in the area. You have to think about what's best for you, what motivates you the most, what your skill set is. So talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, look at the kind of predicted grades you're getting and that will enable you to make informed choices. If you want to go to Richmond, Nescott, Kingston, they often more, they offer vocational courses. That means courses, BTEC courses generally that have a more practical element. That means you're doing, you're doing rather than necessarily writing in an abstract manner. There's a lot of talk about facilitating subjects. Um, this has been put out by the Russell Group University. So subjects such as English history, modern languages, classics, physics, biology, chemistry, geography, uh, that some elite universities like, or some specific courses, um, such as medicine, for example, recommend that you have. If you go to the Informed Choices website, you can click on degrees in, for example, English or medicine um, and so forth. And it talks about the A-levels or BTECs that you might want to take, which, which goes down to some of the choices you want to take now. So remember, they're trying to be as inclusive as possible and offer students the broadish range of subjects possible. But if you want to do medicine, you should make sure you are weighted towards the sciences. However, we've had a number of students, for example, go to Bristol to study physics that have had uh, a BTEC as part of their A-level qualifications. One student did physics, maths A-level and 
they did uh, music technology at VTech. Um, equally, we've had English students at, at university that have studied maths. Remember, crime writers rely on logical plotting. We've also had some doctors that have taken a third subject that is English because English gives empathy and hopefully we need that with doctors. So this is a great website to check out. In terms of Graco, of course, we want as many of you to come here as possible. We have about 160 students in our sixth form um, every year. We aim to make sure that students achieve at the highest academic level, but they do so in a, in a warm and nurturing, nurturing environment. There are lots of courses that we offer. Remember also, there are lots of other schools, six forms courses across the borough. Um, you have to decide which place fits you and your skill set um, the best. Of course, we hope you'll stay with us, but we want you to have lots of options. In terms of the pathways we offer, um, if you've got fives and six at GCSE, we would recommend two to three BTEC pathway. If you've got sixes and sevens, you'd have generally a three A-level pathway, maybe two A-levels, one BTEC, maybe two BTECs, one A-level. Um, if you've got a, a average GCSE score of eights or nines, so most of your grades are eights and nines, Sometimes you can do four A-levels. Generally, maths students tend to take further maths. If you're good at a foreign language or speak um, a foreign language at home, we've got quite a few students take a foreign language as a, as a fourth subject. Um, but four A-levels is quite difficult to manage. In terms of our curriculum offer for 2022, we do 24 A-levels and we also do um, six BTECs. So our offer is extensive, it's on our prospectus. Um, I hope that has proved useful. Please make sure if you've got any questions, you come and see me. Um, I'm in and around the school or you email me, rclements.greycourt.org.uk and I'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.